All right, we're gonna run this HSTR, the Sith Raid, um, today. We're gonna start with our typical JTR Rex 5 team. We get a chance in phase two, we're gonna try and run a quick Jedi Light team. Um, hopefully it won't bleed over into phase three too much. Not my team, but someone else's team. And then once we get to three, we'll draw the Night Sister JKA team. Hopefully we'll hit, uh, we'll approach 100 mil. And, uh,. That'll get us top 10 for sure, but 60, 70 should get us top 10, we'll see. 18 seconds to go, so this is what I did today, uh, the last two days. I took Mando to 5, and I took Hux to 4, he'll be 5 tomorrow. So that'll finish that, then we're ready for JK Luke, who's supposedly happening real soon, and uh... We can go from there. Alright, so first we're running this uh, JTR BB-8, C-3PO, Rex, and Fives. Uh, let's see if we get lucky here. The issue becomes if Nihilist goes after Rex and removes his stacks of translation. We want to get that to 3 as soon as possible so we can uh, reduce the cooldown on his Rex Elite as much as possible. So we're gonna wiggle wiggle there. Um, we're going to save the wave down and we are going to... He's going to AoE, so we're going to get Foresight on BB-8. Now we're going to do that on Rex to try and get him some translation. That will give him two stacks. Uh, we are going to call 3PO here. We're going to wave down Big Boy. We're going to wiggle wiggle. We're gonna basic here. We're gonna basic here. We haven't landed a basic on uh, Nihilus yet. Not a basic attack at least. There's our first one. Keep that translation, homie. One. Then do that. Stay away from Rex. All right, cool. Uh, now we're gonna go with since he's not AOEing, we don't want to put the basic by calling BB-8, so we're gonna put this basic with 3PO. Wiggle, wiggle. Um, and we're just gonna get the third stack. It's gonna put a bunch of basics on here. It's not ideal, but he's next turn He will lose his translation because he won't have used his special for a couple turns. So we got to get that third on there um, And then just to counteract that we'll wiggle we'll wave him down wiggle wiggle uh, Special with 3PO Basic had to do it uh, And there's the Rex late and now he's gonna do that stay there stay there. Oh, see that's what kills you it doesn't happen that often, to be honest, but it does happen. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go eliminate that's gonna get some turns. We gotta do this, but it's just gonna it's gonna make the full clear not happen. Uh, here we're gonna go 3PO again. Basic. Wiggle wiggle. I'll get him to two stacks. Let's wave him down. Rex with 3PO. Basic. Wiggle wiggle. Let's get him to three. Basics. It's just burning too many of uh, Nihilus' turns, unfortunately. Uh, 3PO. And he'll probably go. Don't you dare hit Rex on Slice. Alright. We're gonna start spamming those Rexalates. Uh, there's a Rexalate. Not a bitchy damage yet, but it gets bigger the more attacks the clones take. Uh, we go Basic. We go 3PO. We go Basic. We go wiggle wiggle. We'll go TM. We will wave him down. Special with 3PO. Wiggle wiggle. Call 3PO. Rexalate. Basic. Wiggle wiggle. Alright, cool. Uh, let's wave him down, keep that speed down on him, let's grab some TM, go basic because we have to. Um, we're going to go basic here, and I'll tell you why in a second, because we're going to get back to JTR. So we're going to illuminate a destiny, we're going to confuse, we're going to rexalate, we're going to call BB-8 because the AoE is up now, I have the BB-8 Zeta where if he avoids, he'll heal droids. Uh, actually, I didn't really need to do that because everyone's full health, but... Uh, special, 3PL. Okay, now we can kind of burn some 
basics on other team, other people. Uh, we're gonna go basic here. We're gonna wiggle, wiggle. We're gonna TM gain. We're gonna go basic here. Uh, we're gonna confuse mid. We're gonna go basic again. Let's see if I can get GTR that shield. That's what I was looking for. Okay, wiggle, wiggle. Excellent. Wiggle, wiggle. Uh, let's wave him down. And we're gonna go that. Then we're gonna create some TM. Then we're gonna go. We're gonna go here. The 3 PL. Um, we're gonna go basic here. Illuminate Destiny. Nice. And we'll exhalate. Five minutes and we gotta get going. Uh, let's wave him down. Let's go basic here. Go basic here. Wiggle, wiggle. Oof, yeah, he went. Okay, not too bad. He's gonna counter again his health, so that's not that bad. Um, it's good to have shield on him or JTR when Annihilate comes around. Let's go here with 3PL. They both gain health pretty easily. Pass this over 3PL. We're gonna do that with 3PL. We're gonna wiggle, wiggle. We're gonna rexalate. Um, should start getting pretty strong in, in another couple of turns. Do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Do that because we got no choice. We'll go illuminated destiny. We'll wave him down. Buy ourselves a turn. We'll rexalate. It's doing about two percent right now. It should get up to six or seven by the end. Point. Okay, we got Annihilate come oh and that ruins this one. Um okay, so we're gonna wave him down and get some speed going. Oh, we're gonna call this is a risky move because he's gonna give him TM. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Okay, that's a special that actually means we only had to do that once with 3 bo because I'll have the uh, form up next to get the three stacks. Uh, I would really like to illuminate a destiny if I can get JTR to turn. We're gonna go here to give foresight to BB-8 before the AOE. And I was hoping he'd call JTR to get a little bit of health. Okay, JTR hasn't gone and he went, so that's actually not too bad. Now we should get a turn to do some stuff here. Let's call JTR actually, get some health. And then we'll go here and call uh, 3PL. I prefer actually to save that guy to use basics on. Wiggle. Rexalate. 3%. Um, this with the expose. Ah, oh, that was a mistake. Limited Destiny, Basic, Special 2, mm, let's go here, 3 bo hopefully we don't kill him, I haven't killed him, uh, we'll go with 3 bo Wiggle Wiggle, Rexalate, almost 4%, it's gonna start ramping up, I don't know if we have enough turns to make a good run, I probably should have saved that, wiggle, or that wave there. Up. Yeah, alright, well we're controlling them right now, so. Stay away from using those basics on them, they speed them up. Oh, he's ready to roll, he's ready to go. Come on, man, I gave you, I just gave you a treat. And you got water, I checked. Wiggle, wiggle. Okay. Four percent still. We're gonna go here. We're gonna save that wave. We're gonna ID. Basic, basic. Come <coughs> up. Sully, come here. 
These other streamers, they don't have pets or something. I don't, I don't get it. Don't oh, leave me alone. Wave him down. I like that. That's a big move. Could get us an extra 10%. Uh, let's go here. It's not gonna do much. Just stay away from Rex. Cool. Okay, 5% we're up to now. Really starts to ramp up a little bit now. I mean, we won't get past 7, but what is that? Another... 10 Rexalates. Getting almost 2 per turn. Basic. There you go, good dog. Right, now we can burn some basics, that should help us out. I didn't like that basic. Let's go here. Where is he? We got another turn for that. Let's, uh, um, let's go here. We gotta try and get him a little bit of health. We're gonna do that again, actually. Yeah, you didn't even get to go. Rex late. 5%. Stay with that. Wiggle, wiggle. Now we're waving down. Now we'll ID. Form up. Let's go basic over here. 10 minutes in. Alright, we gotta get going. Basic. Wiggle. Rexalate. Almost 6%. Wave. Wiggle. 3PL. Um, um, 3PL. He's probably gonna go. He's gonna go now. Wiggle, wiggle. Alright, we should have an ID coming next turn. Don't you hit that, Rex. Um, we're gonna go there. We're gonna wave. We're gonna ID. We're gonna have to basic. I would like to do that. I'd like to do that. Form up. Wiggle, wiggle. I have to go basic. I have to go here. We gotta get. Make sure Nihilus goes before JTR. Cool. Alright, he's enraged, so. We're gonna fall a little short this time. But, um. You know, if he doesn't hit you those one or two times, it's not too bad. Let's go here. Wiggle. I'm gonna have to use that shield on, uh. Both these shields. Just to max it out. Be lucky to get two. But maybe. Oh no, he lost it. Oh, beat him up, why don't you? If I get another shield to JTR, I might be able to get one more off. Yeah, we can get one more off. Dang, we gotta go. Doing about seven percent right now. Come on. Take it down just a little bit. Okay, that's fine. No, we're not gonna get a run into the next phase, I'll tell you that right now. Let's speed him down. Let's run the basic. We'll get a Rexalate for 6%. Uh, we'll go there. That should be the end. Ah, we'll just miss it. Maybe we won't. Yeah. It's gonna be a waste next phase. I hope they take me out quick because I gotta get to this. I'm not even gonna get a run at these Jedi probably. If he doesn't hit you those couple times, it can run smoother. You can get through with all five, and then you can probably do. I usually do about 40% in P2 on auto at that point. I don't know the P2 strat with this team, so I just hit auto, and it's usually good for like 40%. Sometimes 60. I'm gonna run auto. Um, if we get a chance, we're gonna run, um, JKR Gas, GMY, I think we'll run Hoda with it, and I'll be Bastia, just to get the buffs, see if we can get some defense protection, which we won't, because we won't get too many dudes under 50%. Kill me!
Kill me. If I get in and it's lower than 80%, I gotta run something crappy, I think. Maybe we can try running the Jedi as we face forward. The Jedi is gonna be eight, seven, eight minute battle. By the time it'll be P3. Yeah, kill me. I could run uh I could run Sept droids maybe. With whatever other clones I have, I can run them with I can run a GK team, I wonder. GK clone. Uh Arc's useless though, but I could put the soak it in there, maybe shock I guess. Clone two 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 oh. Let's go, big hits boys. She gains too much health, this one. Come on. She's dazed at least. Alright. She's still in. Come on. No, she's gonna keep going. She gains too much health. I need these guys to pained out. All I know is pain. It's a Teen Titans reference. Oh. Come on! There we go. Not worth the 3% the there. Oh, we can run him. Let's run him. Real quick. Battle. Clear. Select. This. Go. I hope I didn't say JKA. Not J you don't want to run JKA here. You want to run him elsewhere. Uh, you're gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to go right into P3 after this. Um, so this is basically damage, just hard damage. Um, I could run it more efficiently myself, but it cost me a couple minutes. That's just not worth it. Uh, let's see, we got GMY at R5, JKR at R5, from Yoda at R5, I'm still at R5, and Gas is R7. Um, you know, R5's my standard. As far as my tunes go, uh, it's not that bad against the Star 5, it's at like R6, R7, where it's not worth it. I got some R6, R7 gear now that I'm planning on putting on JKL. When he comes around, I think, I think he's worth the R7 gear. Uh, my most recent was DACA, who I took there specifically for the uh, Night Sister General Grievous counter that we've been using. Which has been working awesome. If you haven't checked it out, check out my vid. Um, get Doc at 120 health. Get uh, her to about 230 speed. And, you know, Night, Sir, Night Sisters versus GG. It's worth it. I just beefed them up to specifically put them on defense, but I'll take that trade any day. Works against uh, GG Vanilla, which would be your normal Sceptroids, and it works against GG8, which would be Sceptroids with. Um, Sceptroids with BB-8, obviously. Uh, it doesn't work against Night Sister Watt. Uh, I mean, GG Watt. All right, I don't know if you know, but Watt's Blast Tech. Uh, whoever has Watt's Blast Tech, if they kill somebody, they can't be revived, which is, you know, the whole point of Night Sister. So if he gives it to GG, which probably should be who it goes to. Uh, if he goes to GG, it's not gonna work out. So, but it's a good, it's an awesome counter. It's something uh, we've been facing a lot of double GG walls, double Padme walls. So it's helped out a little bit. We only have 11 functioning teams right now that hit those limits, but uh, hopefully it's something we work on if we're able. So we'll just finish. What is that? All right, we're almost there. Check out my cam videos as well. Um, I've been doing a lot of watching other people do cam videos before I go into my videos, just to get yeah, man. It's a yeah, I really enjoy the mission. It's fun. It's just a lot of strategy. Uh, I understand people's frustration. There's so much RNG that goes into that stuff, but uh, if you play the RNG right, it really reduces 
that RNG, it doesn't eliminate it. You know, uh, my boy Sean Doe, um, he failed the rocketed shock first turn. You can't win like that. You need shock for that mission. You need to heal. You need to keep fives alive. And uh, then you need to heal Arcanaco later on. So that kills that. Big damage here for my boys. Feel free, feel free to fast forward. So it won't be another minute or two. Hopefully, phase three is starting right about now, but I think it probably started three minutes ago. Come on, boy. Get the hatred. Get there. Alright, we only did about 25%. I would like to do a little bit more. But it's probably. 15 to 25 mil. No. I don't know, it's gotta be 20 mil. I think I usually do 20 mil. Thirty percent. Forty mil divided by three. Sixteen point six. Get him. Alright, let's go. Now we're gonna get into Night Sisters Phase 3 here, uh, I hope. So the idea here is to throw one scrub team at him and have Trey burn to isolate. Lowest tunes you got. Oh! That's weird. Oh, there we go. So we go with these scrubs, and we're just gonna go in and hit auto. I froze. Did I just freeze? You kidding me right now? You kidding me? Time is of the essence, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, man. What's this dope doing? She's just standing in the corner. Time's a wasting, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm still good. I'm still full. Froze again. Froze again. Oh man. This happened before, dude. This is gonna be a full blue stats when they start. If it crashes again, we're gonna have to do a full blue stacks restart. It's not gonna be much, it'll be 45 seconds, but hey man, 45 seconds matters right now. Alright, so we're throwing scrubs in, it's gonna be uh, lightsaber one attack, lightsaber two attacks, lightsaber three attack, isolate. And we'll go in with the real team. Oh man, you didn't kill him first? It does it's not the end of the world, she has got to say we this this attack, but I don't understand how. I mean, they're like level nothing. All right, Mother Tao's massage, Odako, weak acid shit, and JKA. Uh, Usually about eighty-five percent with this. All right, though the issue becomes if these guys get dazed or stagger. That's not the end of the world. I'll do a little bit of burn in there, and then we can take these guys out in a whim with uh, JKA. I don't love them having that low health because of that DACA assist. Right, we need them to kill, initiate. 
need them to kill initiate. There we go, okay. Now, nobody's got any status effects. We're going to AoE. Alright, and now we're going to select and basic. Alright, every assist is going to call um, initiate to counter. It doesn't do any damage, but it's a resurrection, which is going to stack Asajj's offense. You'll see right now she's doing 43,000. Um, the, the trick here is that when someone, I don't know the exact mechanics to be honest with you, but when someone resurrects or JKA gets a bonus turn and then it bounces back to the Night Sister. So it's basically going to be Asajj, Daka, Asajj, JKA, Daka, Asajj, JKA, Daka, sorry, sorry, Asajj, JKA, Daka, JKA, Asajj, JKA, Daka, JKA. Tails it'll mix in there every once in a while. It's just gonna run like this until it gets close to the top. You see the totes turn into really slowly gains. Um, and our isolate count in the top right corner is at two. If it's two or higher, we can play it straight. If it's not, we have to use the uh, the Treya special event ability on Talzin. Which we'll probably have to use the second time. So I usually like to try and get it to like 80% before we have to get out of her first thing. But my team's not modded very well. I got a little bit of potency on my team, which is applying debuffs, which is making, her, which is uh, speeding her up a little bit. But we usually don't have a problem because we'll knock her down before she isolates again, and then we have the little talisman trick at the end that I'll show you. Probably around 30%. If you take all your potency off your guys, it'll, you'll get a little. It'll be a little easier on you. Okay. Definitely not as much as I would have liked to, but it's nice that that isolate counters are two right now. It buys us some time. She's gonna stand up in second. I'm gonna undo the order. Ability blocks, not that bad. <coughs> uh, okay, so we'll just knock him down. Now it's basic time. Boom. And now her, she's gonna keep ramping up. What was it, 40%, 40,000 before? That's what she's hitting for now. 178. Usually you get up to 450 ish K or so every hit. She's taking a ton of them because the second time, Trader goes down, her tenacity goes up, so she takes less buffs. You'll see she's only got the one before she had like 19. So we should get to, I hope, close to 30%, but you see Isolate's ready, so as soon as she's going to stand up, she's going to Isolate. Um, but we still have the Treya special ability to cleanse those seven stacks, which we're going to use on Talzin, so she Isolates Talzin. Uh, I don't know the specifics, again, of the ability, but it only works on Asajj and Daka. Talzin can die, Talzin can get isolated, doesn't affect us at all, so... Um, we're, we want to force this isolate coming up on Talzin. So once that turn meter gets to 95 or so percent, we're going to use that event special ability on Talzin. It should be a while though. Usually running these teams, I can get close to 100. Um, that first run didn't go quite as deep, but. I, I made up a little bit of it with JKA, uh, I mean, uh, JKR, so, I'm thinking I'll be 92, let's say 92, eh, 88 to 92, definitely not going to hit 100, but if we wake up in phase four, I can burn teams, man, I got depth, I got depth. We go with some stuff. We got GG. I mean, everyone's gonna be throwing everything, so it shouldn't last long. But if you can get down to Trey, a GL rail, a last a little while, to put in a million or two. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, please like and subscribe, guys. Uh, just my YouTube channel. I got some stuff going on on Twitch that I'll promote. 
Uh, I'm going to do that when I come back from vacation next week. I'm going to get going really early September, September 5th. Um, move into a little bit of a more kid-friendly uh, Twitch channel. I figure I'm alienating a couple of my, uh, you know, a good chunk of audience. Those kids growing up now, they love it. You see, Sasha's hit for 316. It's just going to keep ramping up. We're only halfway through. Um, but getting into Twitch, I'm going to... As soon as, as soon as September rolls around, I'm really trying to get into streaming. I'm gonna, uh, as soon as work's over, I'm going to stream like five to seven, two hours a day on my family-friendly channel. And then uh, I'm going to do my podcast, which I'm going to be doing on YouTube called Pod Bless America. And uh, we can do that for about half an hour. It's not going to be anything major, at least to start with. It's just going to be me. Uh, I've invited some people. You know, they're skeptical. I'm crazy, so... They're worried that what I'm going to talk about, but I can't, uh, you know, I have a job. I can't bring craziness on this show. Um, I'm going to do that for about a half an hour every day. Just cover news, topics, discussions, and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully bringing on guests and stuff like that down the road. I'd love to. Uh, famous, not, or not famous. Uh, I can't do controversial, unfortunately, because of work, but, uh, I still have some pretty out there opinions, man, so uh, it should be fun. And then I'd like to do a, like a late night adult type of stream where I can do some drinking and do some cursing and stuff like that. So uh, that's going to be DC Gaming here on YouTube, what you're watching right now. Pod Bless America um, is another channel. I got a Discord server all set up for that. Uh, I haven't pushed it super hard yet, but you can find that at. Uh, podblessamerica.us which forwards to the podcast channel um, and then we're going to do my adult channel which is probably going to be DC Gaming which links to my Decipher Twitch account and I'll link those two together so you can watch on either Twitch or YouTube uh, it's going to be mo a lot of full guys a lot of young younger kid games on the T-Bone account, that's the younger account, uh, that's going to be Fall Guys, we're going to do some Star Wars, you know, my dailies and stuff like that, um, but I want to get some other stuff, I want to play some Uno, I mean, call me cheesy, but I want to play some Uno, I want to get some fun stuff, that was a 474 hit, uh, I don't even think we're going to have to use the Dowsy trick, but if it gets close, you use this ability on Towson, these guys will basically be out of the picture, and then it'll focus Talzin, and that'll make Talzin take the take the isolate. Just want to make sure you don't attack a lightsaber with a basic. If you got a basic, use it on Treya. Um, if you kill, it'll resurrect initiate, and that will screw everything up. So um, I don't think we're gonna get there though. Guess we can run. I'll show you what it looks like next time Talzin gets a turn. So it's going to be uh, T-Bone for my youngsters account. I'm still looking for games to play, but there's a lot of good options out there. Then we're going to do stream on Pop Bless America, discuss news, world views, current, current events, uh, shark attacks. I hate sharks. <laughs> and then the nighttime one is going to be uh, Halo right now, man. I love Call of Duty better, but I don't like any of the new ones, really. Man, whatever happened, uh, you get shot and you die. I'm not talking hardcore, but like two shots and you die. I'm playing Halo right now. You know, I'll land four headshots and they don't die. Oh, yeah, tells me about to go. You know, basic, right? Okay, so now we can use this, and that's going to make Talzin stand alone. Now only he can attack. We're going to use the basic. It's going to make her stand up. She's going to go. Days, days, blah, blah, blah. Isolate. Cool. Uh, now we're going to AoE. She clear that four side, but it really doesn't matter. She's going to get another turn. Just got to make sure we don't use the basic here. If we kill somebody, it will resurrect initiate. And we'll go AoE. And we'll go AoE. She's kneeling. And we're good. So you'll at least get two kneels and be able to get to 10%. You could mod your team better. My team's not modded for this event. I just have, admittedly, pretty good mods uh, all around. So 
they're not top-notch mods on this team. I don't mod for the thing, but my mods are half decent. I can make stuff work sometimes. 492, she just hit 4. I've never seen her hit 500. I'm sure 517 right there, sweet. All right, and then we're going to do this, and this is going to resurrect. That'll resurrect initiate because we just killed with the basic. And I'm going to actually um, auto annihilate, so it won't do too much. But you can get deep. You can get deep here with uh, the Night Sisters if you really play it and fine tune it. But I'd rather finish this off and get some other teams out there. You can do. You can full clear this, but um, I can usually do at least 10% on Nihilus and 10% on Scion. But you, it, if I auto Scion, I can usually do. Tw I can usually do 25-30%. Get those basics out of here. Uh, we're gonna go auto, and we're gonna click this off. We're just gonna let it run. If I focus Scion right now, I can do 25, 35, 40 percent on him. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> you never want to kill Scion. That's selfish. You never want to kill Scion before Nihilus because you can't do basics on Nihilus. It gains protection. You see it's jumping up. I don't even know why they're attacking her. We're going to pop in every once in a while just to clear some stuff. Love to heal with Asajj. We're gonna clear the stacks, we're gonna heal with the Sage, and we're gonna go back to auto. This is Monster and the worst scotch in the world. Uh, I don't know, not the worst, it's Johnny Walker Red Label, it's, there's worse out there, but it's the only liquor besides tequila I got to mix right now. I usually play uh, the non on Spotify. I usually play the non copyright metal um, playlist, but for my kids' channel, I've been trying to switch it. So I'm, I'm thinking about going with this. I actually like this. There's not as many non copyright playlists on Spotify as I would have thought. I don't want them targeted though. Oh, do I get a shield? Definitely don't want to do that. We gotta do some stuff here. Um, let's get uh, this. This. And this. I don't want anyone targeted. Just do your thing. Why is Initiate hit Nihilus? Worst possible thing that could happen. This is one. I don't know what I had uh, on the first phase. I think it's 40 mil, and then I probably did another 13 ish, 53, and then I probably did about 40, which would make it 93. That might be 30 and 5 instead of that. 388. Plus this is be two mil. Might be ninety mil. Might be more than ninety mil. Oh, we gotta clear some stuff, man. Uh, never do basics there. Clear that. That's fine. Oh, uh, he was isolated. That's weak sauce. We have the JKA heal. We're at 95, and I think this guy's at 90, so only about 15% overall, but. Could be over by the time I get out of here. It should be over in about ten, two minutes. Uh, after this, depending on where we're at, if we're down to what it looks like just Treya, we're on GL Ray. If it's. Just Sion will run first order real quick and then Sceptoroids before GL Ray, but I don't think we'll get that far. Oof. That's fine. Get me out of this. Big shout out to Sean Doe, Scuba Stevie, who loves my voice. We got lunch. We got, uh, who's watching right now? Who's watching? Nobody, because I'm recording. Uh, who asked for this? Jerpose Jax? You French, bro? 
you and your boy is Jax, so... I don't know if that's got something to do with the guild or if you're just boys or whatever. My old squad used to be the Fly Boys for Call of Duty, and then uh, Lobster Squad, we'd run in Halo, the Lobster Squad. 40, whatever. Uh, 40 plus the rest. Should be about 90. 103! I didn't think I'd hit that! I'll be soloed. Nice. Okay, two. Not bad. Where's your post go? 23. Alright. Yeah, I hope he's got that SLKR. He definitely posted early. So we might have to talk about that. But, we haven't made any rules yet. So, let's keep an eye on it. My opinion would be 8 minutes would be 8, 8, 8, 8, 42 instead of 10. 32 instead of 10. Instead of 40. 32 instead of 40 is my idea, but that mission one run takes 12 minutes or so, so we'll have to talk about that, but, uh, uh, 103, good run, what was it, three teams, nice, alright, sweet, uh, good luck, everyone have out there, TW tomorrow, let's get it popping, let's get it popping, Zeta, 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 gotta get it, one win, one kill, no luck, all skill. Let's get W's.